the most hated event in Fortnite history. Now we've had about four end events in Fortnite's history, one being called the end, chapter two also be calling the end, fracture as well as the big bang. Now I held a poll about four days ago on my community tab that said, what's the best chapter ending event we've ever had in Fortnite? 76% said the end chapter two, but only 2% out of the 412 votes said fracture from chapter three. So that begs the question of why why exactly was this seen as the worst Fortnite end event in history? Fracture was a very, very different event to ones that we've had in the past. Fracture was super interactive. There wasn't a lot of cinematics and it wasn't like a typical event where you kind of just sit there and watch. It was very, very hands-on and that's one of the main reasons why so many people didn't like it. Beforehand, this chapter ending event, as I said, this was the end event of chapter three. It was touted as Fortnite's longest event ever like it was gonna be 45 minutes to an hour i believe so people were really hyped about what we could possibly see in this event but it was super disappointing and it was not what people expected at all from the beginning it was very very anticlimactic um we saw the herald as you guys know chapter three and chapter two kind of ended in the same sort of way even though it wasn't the cube queen it was the herald actually infecting the map with chrome instead of you know kind of corruptedness that the uh cube queen was but that's kind of what happened in chapter three. And it was kind of supposed to be this like final battle between the Herald and all of the Fortnite characters. And it was literally, and I'm not exaggerating, the most anticlimactic battle I have ever seen in Fortnite. Literally what happens is I guess you could basically say she kind of wins against the Fortnite characters, which was kind of obvious from the beginning because she was this giant like chrome monster and she just beats them all with her chrome. But then after that, she herself like isn't able to move anymore, like completely chrome the map just literally explodes for no reason. Like she explodes and the entire map explodes for absolutely no reason. After this point, it felt like Party Royale mini games. And let me explain. There was this whole storyline around, you know, the paradigm. And I believe it was Amy at the time. And they were talking to each other about what was going on with the zero point. And you had to collect these like zero point shards to build back the island. So mostly literally, and I have a video about this. It's called Fortnite Fracture, a 45 minute waiting room for not even exaggerating again 30 45 minutes you were just walking around finding these clues doing these little mini games talking to npcs and finding these um zero point shards as they brought all of these different pieces of the map together to help you find them it was so so boring like the most boring event of all time now like i said this was different from other events and was way more interactive i mean if we just compare it to chapter two chapter two was probably one of the best events we've ever had in four Fortnite. It was literally a cinematic masterpiece, as this guy in the comments did say. Like, we saw the map flip and everything, and I think a lot of people expected that to be what this event was, and that's just not what it was. It was just not on par. They tried something completely different, and it just didn't work. Additionally, a lot of people didn't like how the Herald died so easily. Not many people mentioned Fracture in my comments, but here you go. Here are some comments about Fracture. Someone said, who said Fracture? Um, 0% for a long time. There was literally 0% votes on Fracture, which was pretty insane. This person here said that the chapter three end event was the best one for being disappointing, which is a really, really accurate um, one. Fracture having 0% is hilarious. Someone said it's just true. So the sentiment that Fracture was like this really, really bad event, comparing it to other ones, especially like the two end events that we had is just really, really interesting to me. And it goes to show how people really admire cinematics more than they do actual interactivity, with Fortnite events, which is exactly, you know, what they've kind of made them to be. And also this event felt very lazy story-wise. Now, let me preface this, which I, with, I understand there was a lot of story connection with this, with Amy and the Paradigm, but when it came to the actual Herald and what was going on the map, they literally, it seems like they just didn't have any way for the Herald to be defeated or any way for her to go away. So they just like made her, you know, explode. Like she just, you know, got completely chromed and she just exploded. Um, kind of like the fault of her own, which is really ridiculous to me. I wish I would have, we would have seen more of like a battle or something more happening um, with the Herald and the people on the island. Maybe even just the paradigm kind of going against her would have been really, really cool. Like I said, it felt like a waiting room. For so much of this, you were kind of just waiting around. It didn't feel like very emotional to me. It didn't feel like um, we were really doing anything. It felt like I was just in a mini game. It just didn't feel like a chapter ending event that's supposed to be like insane and get everyone really high 
hype for a brand new map and um, brand new concepts. Just went on for generally way too long. They really wanted to make this a long event to, you know, obviously engage people with the interactivity, but that's not what Fortnite events are made to be. And especially an end event really needs to hit because that's when most people are going to tune into those events is when we're getting a brand new map. Now on the bright side of this one, Mega Mutt 14 over here commented on my poll. He said, I honestly liked Fracture. The scenery was very pretty. I got a bit emotional when I was shown flashbacks of past events, reminding me of the many fun moments on the island we all had. Sure, the gameplay isn't anything special, but it shocked me when the island got nuked and I had fun watching a new world be rebuilt right in front of my eyes. That's a really, really good point. And I did like the whole concept of the zero point bringing in pieces of maps from throughout like the universe. That was really, really cool. It's just the interactivity of it and finding the shards of the zero point could have been cut down so much. Like that did not have to take um, that long to do. And I feel like it just would have been better if they just made it a bit more cinematic and emotional. This one is really interesting too, because it talks about the last two events and um, how they're like comparative to each other. This guy basically said here that chapter two end event will never be topped just because the last two end events were just really, really lackluster. He said chapter three had so much potential, but the actual event part they advertised was just made into a cutscene. So the part about um, Fracture here, I definitely agree with. Most of the time they are going to advertise the cinematics, which makes sense, but it gets to a realm of feeling like I'm being lied to, um, especially with like updates and things, how they'll put stuff in um, trailers that aren't going to be in the game for like weeks at a time or months. That's just something that I really don't like that Fortnite does. And if you're going to show the cinematics of a, you know, event, I, I'm going to expect it to be mostly cinematic and I'm not going to want a lot of interactivity in an event that you advertise like that. So thank you to everybody that I mentioned and everybody who commented on that poll. If you guys don't know, just a little quick plug here. I do polls all the time on my community posts. Sometimes I'll ask you guys for ideas and you can also be featured like some of these guys have been when I ask questions and make them into a video. So make sure you guys check that out every once in a while. But people do not want that much interaction in end events. They want cinematics. And that is what I think um, they should do with further end events to make them as successful as possible. But let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comments. Do you guys think that Fracture is the worst end event in Fortnite history? What is the best end event in Fortnite history? Let me know down below. Subscribe to the channel. Use code PRO0YT and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.